Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. We're back once again with our monthly sponsored video from Plex. And today we're taking a look at their new TV interface that is rolling out as we speak. At the moment, it works on Roku and on Apple TV. And I suspect we'll be seeing it soon on Android TV and smart televisions and other devices as well. It looks similar to what you might be using now, but they've made some really nice changes to it. And we're going to step through all of those things here in just a second. But I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure, this is a paid sponsorship from Plex. However, they are not reviewing or approving this video before it gets uploaded. And all of the opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's get into it now and see what this new interface is all about. So here we are on the home screen of the new interface. And in the home hub section here, uh, you're going to get some smart recommendations that are content centric. But the rest of the interface here, as you can see on the left, uh, has a library focus. So you don't have to uh, deal with a lot of smart recommendations if you don't want them. Uh, and they've kind of enclosed everything in one spot if you do like uh, content-based kind of recommendations. So right now in the home screen, I have my Aladdin movie that I'm in the middle of watching here under the continue watching section and then two versions of The Last Jedi. One is 4K, one is 1080p. I've been playing these movies to test out some equipment we're uh, in the process of reviewing here. I also have recently added TV, uh, which is actually a consolidation of a couple of libraries on my server. I've got uh, one library for doing uh, my DVR recordings and another one that I use for uh, stuff that I have brought into my server myself. And those are separate libraries normally, but here it will consolidate everything into a most recently added list. It's one of the things these smart recommendations can do. I've got things like music and photos and other parts of the uh, Plex ecosystem here that are showing up on screen. Now, if you wanna change the order of this, what you can do is go uh, left arrow and hit the uh, little periods here next to that home option. On the Roku, you can also hit the star key. And if I go over to that a little period option there and go to manage hubs, I can change the order. So if I wanted recently added TV to be above continue watching, I can just do this little trick here, uh, back out of that, and now you'll see recently added TV is above continue watching. Pretty simple stuff here, and you can uh, customize this to your heart's content. If you wanna reduce some of the clutter in this interface here and remove things that you don't want to use, you can go back into that uh, manage hubs option and for example, if I just wanted to get rid of my photo section here, I can click on this little period option here and remove it from home. And now that will be gone. Uh, so if we jump back out to uh, the home screen here, you can see we no longer have photos popping up on my home screen. So pretty cool stuff there. Now, one of the things that I really like about the new interface is that it does uh, really put a focus on your libraries and a lot of people organize their media with the library function. And if you're like me, you might have the same kind of media in different libraries depending on what it is. And as I mentioned a few minutes ago, I have two different TV show libraries. Uh, one is my shows to watch, which is stuff that I have moved onto my server manually. And the other one are DVR recordings that come in through uh, my cable system. And I don't want these things in the same library because they're different types of content for me. Now, here's something really cool about this. Watch what happens when I go back up to Shows to Watch. You'll see that it's defaulting to the library view here. So if I want to go in and see my uh, Season 2 of Barry here, I can jump right into it. I don't have to dig through the interface like I currently have to do on the existing TV interface that's on the other platforms. This is a big jump for me because I really like to browse this library by content. I don't like to go through the recommended settings and then have to figure everything out. I just want to jump into the season and find the shows that I want to watch. And I really uh, do like what they've done here. You can see another example of that with a show that I have five seasons of. Uh, really cool. So that is nice. Now, the other thing that'll happen here as I jump down the DVR recordings is that I've got a different interface. I actually have smart recommendations on this one because I prefer this interface on this library versus the other one. So again, when I'm on shows to watch, I've got a uh, show specific library interface here. It's right now sorted by title, but I could sort it by other things if I want. When I go down to those DVR recordings, I see recently aired TV first before anything else. And what it does is it remembers what you were doing the last time you were in that library. So for example, if I decided that I wanted to go and browse the DVR recordings by show, I can click on library here and I will get that interface. And if I jump out of it, 
and go back to shows to watch and then back down again, you'll see it remembered uh, that I was browsing it by show and it will default to that the next time I look at it. So they have really, I think, found a good balance here between the smart recommendations and the library interface. And I like it quite a bit because some libraries I like to get smart recommendations on, others I want to browse by show and now it's easy to remember those preferences. Now at the moment you really can't do much with the recommended section of the library here. So I can't, for example, reorder these at the moment. I can't decide what I want to see here just yet. I'm sure that will be something they're working on uh, in the near future here. But what I can do is have some stuff now show up on the home screen if I want. So for example, I've got uh, one smart recommendation that popped up on here called More from A and E. And if I go over to these little periods here and add it to the home screen, if I back out now and go back to my home interface, you'll now see more from A and E uh, down here at the bottom. And of course, I can order the home screen to move those up higher if I want to. So uh, there are some things that I'm guessing they'll be adding to the interface as this develops. At the time I'm recording this, you can't change the order of this or remove some of the smart recommendations that it's putting up for you. But again, I think that will probably happen down the road. Now right now I've got a lot of stuff pinned to the side of my interface. You can see I've got uh, playlists and all these libraries and stuff and maybe I want to consolidate some of this and make it a little bit less busy. Uh, so if I want to get rid of playlists for example I can just go over to the periods there and then if I select unpin from sidebar uh, that will remove it from my interface but I can still get at it later. I'm going to get rid of kid shows here as well. Again, this will still be available, but I don't want to see that right now. Uh, maybe I don't want to see photos at the moment either. I'll unpin that one, uh, and maybe I will uh, leave the rest here. So now I've got a pretty decent interface here, and shows to watch is what I typically jump to first, but maybe I want movies to be a little bit higher here. Uh, what you can do is go into those periods again, and then go to reorder, and I can move movies up a notch here so it's just under my shows to watch and get the interface to uh, work exactly as I want it to. And if I change my mind down the road and decide that, you know what, it's getting to be holiday season and I want to put those Christmas movies I just removed back on, I can go over here to more. And then if we look for the server that that uh, library is on, in this case my MyCloud, I can just expand this and as I scroll down the list here, you'll see that the things that don't have a little pin next to them are not currently pinned to the sidebar. And if I go over here to Xmas Movies and select that uh, period thing again and pin it to home, if we back out now and go back to our list, uh, we should now see those Christmas movies there at the bottom. And then, of course, I can uh, reorder it and move it up higher on the list. So the stuff doesn't go away. It just gets hidden. And then if you never really want to see it here, but you do want to access it occasionally, if you jump back to more here, go over to the uh, thing that you want to look at and click on it, uh, you'll have access to the library just as before. So you can see stuff you want to see, you can remove things you don't want to see, uh, but you can still get at it uh, later on, irrespective of whether or not it is pinned to your home page. And you can also integrate content from other servers that you might be connected to. Uh, so for example, if we jump back into the more section, uh, you'll see that there's another server here called Plex DVR. Uh, this is actually on the other side of the United States from me, uh, but I have access to content on there and I can just browse it if I want through the more section uh, or I can actually add some of their own libraries to uh, my home screen here. So I can pin their uh, movies library here to my home screen and if I jump back out here you can now see that we have uh, access to that remote server's movie library here uh, labeled Plex DVR. Additionally, I can go in and add some of the smart hubs to it as well. So if I go to manage hubs, I can add the recently added TV of that remote server uh, to my home screen, uh, just like we were doing before. And if we go back out now to my home screen here and uh, browse the home section, uh, we will see that other server's content available to us as well. So there you go, recently added TV, uh, from their Plex DVR on the other side of the nation from me. Pretty cool stuff and again a lot of customization and flexibility with this. Now it also supports multiple users so right now we're logged into my account and I've got my preferences all set up here and if my wife logs in uh, her interface will be customized to what she set up and we won't collide with each other so I don't have to worry about seeing Christmas movies front and center on my interface 
but when she logs in, she gets those Christmas movies right where she wants them, and I really like that uh, we can do that without uh, messing up the other's experience here, so that's been really nice. A couple other things that I like here is the uh, live TV and DVR looks great. You've got that nice channel grid here, so that pops up, and again, you can change it based on what your preferences are, so if I'd prefer to I uh, have my DVR schedule be front and center. That will always pop up, or uh, we can go to the original Plex TV interface here. You got the ability to search within the interface too. Really nicely done here. I'm really quite pleased with this. You can tell that they spent a good amount of time trying to figure out how to balance this consolidated content-based approach to things. It's based off of uh, smart playlists and other kinds of recommendations versus I think a lot of users desires to have things organized by library. This really does give you both and you can uh, get the both, best of both worlds here uh, based on what your preferences are in each specific library. So I am quite pleased with this. I think it's going to make my content browsing on Plex a lot more efficient. I just want it now to get over to Android TV, which is my primary viewing option right now. Android TV doesn't yet have this interface at the time I'm recording this video, but I do expect this will become the norm for all of their TV-based platforms. Typically, they usually start on Apple TV and Roku and then roll it out uh, to other things as things get developed. Now, if you've seen things here that you like or don't like, uh, head over to the Plex forums and make your voice heard because they're really trying to get as much uh, user feedback as possible as this continues to develop. But I really think it's on the right track here and I am looking forward to hopefully seeing this soon on my Shield TV devices. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.